This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 1SR4U at checkout for free shipping within the U.S. on any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing video of a pair of Puma King Top D's in the red and white colorway. As you can see, they don't come in your standard red Puma box. You get this green Puma King branded box, which is somewhat unusual. So I'll get the shoes out of here really quickly, get the box out of the way. And if you're not familiar with the Puma King Top D, uh, think of it as the Copa Mundial from Puma. Puma makes a ultra classic King, which is the King Top D, and a more modern version of the King, which is the Puma King Finale. Um, as far as the Top D is concerned, there are two models that are available. The Top D, like you see in front of you, and the Top DK, which is gonna feature a kangaroo leather upper, where the Top D, the model you see in front of you, features a Puma light full grain leather upper. Um, the differences between the two, obviously, kangaroo leather tends to be a little bit softer, but keep in mind this is a very, very good quality upper, and uh, the trade-off is that this version is going to be a little bit lighter than the standard model, which I'll show you guys on the scale a little bit later. The listed weight that is on up for these guys is wrong, so I'll let you guys know that right now. And like I said, I'll show you a little bit more about the weight in the, at the end of the video. As far as this shoe is concerned, it has a retail price of about $100, but can be found as low as about $70. Um, I'll have links in the description to the review page on my website, and you'll find all the links to not only the Top D, but as well as the Top DK, with the best prices online, including some coupon codes to get you guys some additional deals on this particular shoe, if you are interested. And uh, that cheap $100 price tag or lower is really nice, especially if you are interested in trying out one of these ultra classic shoes. I tend to get overlooked because they don't feature any of the fancy technologies that some of the more modern boots have, but trust me, these are every bit as good as the newer stuff. Um, the shoe is actually designed or based off of the 1982 Puma King, which is kind of one of the more classic shoes ever made as far as soccer shoes are concerned. And like I said, the upper is really good quality. The, the upper is full leather all the way around. No synthetics used other than the Puma slashes, which are kind of there to, to provide some... Uh, lateral stability and kind of to keep the shoe from over stretching through that midfoot area um, like i said the leather quality on here is fantastic even though it's not a kangaroo leather upper which is kind of considered to be the ultra premium type of leather that you would want um, but like i said don't worry about that as far as the stitching pattern on here is designed is concerned it's a, a very strange design you can see it weaves and crosses all over the place uh, very strange to the toe and through the instep just highly unusual so very curious to see how that's going to affect the stretching of the shoe if it's going to allow it to overstretch or not stretch enough or maybe it's going to stretch just perfect very very curious to try this particular shoe out and if you are interested in this shoe right away i have tried it on and i can tell you that it does fit true to size unlike the copa which has some kind of funny sizing so if you are interested in ordering a pair just go with your normal size and you're going to be okay as far as sizing is concerned um, as far as the lacing system is concerned, you have a central lacing system with your big white Puma flap tongue. It's fairly minimalistic this time around, not unlike the Copa, and it's pre-flapped as well, so it's going to stay down, um, whereas the Copa tongue is kind of one giant piece of leather. You kind of have to worry about it flapping around on you. This one stays down on its own. No Velcro or anything like that, but like I said, it's pre-flapped, so it should stay down. As far as the liner on the heel is concerned, you have a nice synthetic leather liner with plenty of padding there. And of course the insole is non-removable. And then you have your internal heel counter as well. But as far as the weight is concerned, I'll show you guys that right now. All right guys, when I looked up the listed weight for this shoe, I saw 11.8 ounces. And that really wasn't a big surprise to me. I expected a shoe that is has this more classic design to weigh a little bit more. But when I picked it up in my hands, I, I definitely realized right away that this was not a 12 ounce shoe. This weighed a little bit less. So I decided to throw it on the scale and sure enough, the listed weight is way off and the actual weight is 10.2 ounces. So uh, pretty much average weight as far as modern soccer shoes are concerned. So if you did want that classic style without having all that, that little bit of extra weight, which I really don't think makes a huge difference in terms of feel of the shoe, um, just keep in mind that more, the more weight you have, generally the more durable the shoe's gonna be and the less weight you have, the less durable the shoe's gonna be. So having that 10.2 ounce mark it's kind of that happy medium between a shoe that doesn't weigh a ton and doesn't weigh too little. Um, really solid feel to the boot and that's really what's important here. I wouldn't worry too much about how much the shoe actually does weigh, especially when you're in that 10 ounce mark. That's pretty good for a shoe of this type. 
Um, other than that, guys, if you guys are interested in the full interview for this shoe, I should have it up on my website in the next month or so. So just keep checking back to the review page if that does interest you. Currently on the review page, you're going to find the high quality pictures of these shoes. It'll give you kind of a more up close look, maybe some extra angles that you wouldn't normally be able to see in the stock photos and give you a better idea as to how the shoe actually does look in person. You're also going to find buy it now links, like I said, with the best prices online, including some SR4U coupon codes for the fans to get some extra discounts on your shoes. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions regarding this particular shoe, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, if you guys could like the, the video, it really does, I really do appreciate it. It does help me out a significant amount. And uh, if you guys have any other questions not related to the video, go ahead and leave that on my Facebook page. There will be a link in the description of that as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.